hey ho, it's Sooty and Ho. Everybody say hello. There's Sooty and Sweet and the Cold Suit. They will come to camp. They'll be bungalow with the terrible fall. Just be wait and see. It's Sooty and Company. Silly. <laughs> now that's what I call a sale. So how would Sir like to pay? Cash or credit card? <laughs> Happy Families card. Sweep, you can't pay with a Mr. Doe the Baker card. Oh. It's only pretend. Yeah, yeah, you're right, it is only pretend. Mind you, we're going to keep on pretending, otherwise if we ever do get a real customer, we'll have forgotten how to sell, won't we? Hello there, Matthew. Oh, hi, Have any customers? Uh, no, not unless you count to a training session with Sweep, no. Oh, well, never mind. You fancy a biscuit? Oh, well, I would... Well, don't push the boat out, will you? Is that, is that one biscuit? Do you expect us to share it then, Sue? Well, I'm afraid it may have come to that, Matthew, because, joking apart, that is the only biscuit we've got. Really? Can you have it? Well, I'm a, what? You'd like it. Well, actually, I'd like it as well. Now, tell you what, tell you what. The first person to sell something mm -hmm. gets the biscuit. Deal? Deal. <laughs> Well, Scamp is playing with his little friends in the loft, but Super Salesman Sweep thinks that he can make a sale and therefore win the biscuit. <laughs> Would you buy something from me, Scampy? says Sweep. Because if you do, I'll be able to have the biscuit. I can't think of anything I want, says Scampy. Apart from the biscuit you mentioned, I could feed that to my little friends here. I could sell you the biscuit, says Sweep. But I haven't got any money, says Scampy. Sweep thinks for a nanosecond and then comes out with a sort of deal that only he can. I'll pay you to take the biscuit, says Sweep. OK, says Scampy. You're on. So Sweep gives Scampy ten pence and the deal is done. Sweep, give me the biscuit. Come on, give it to me. But you sold it to Scampy. Well, if you've sold it to Scampy, where's the money? You gave it to Scampy. You haven't sold anything at all. You've just confused your brain again, that's all. Put the biscuit down, put it down, come on. In fact, I'll put it over there for safekeeping. And I will show you how to sell. In fact, I'll sell something to you. Sweep, would you like to buy that? Hmm? What is it? Well, it's a wooden block or a brick. It's part of a guessing game. Bring the other two up here, Sooty. In fact, there are three. Thank you very much. There's three wooden blocks or bricks. There's uh, one black one and two white ones. And what happens is this. I'll give you a demonstration with... Don't, don't move them like that. Leave them where they were. I'm going to pile them one on top of... No, don't do that. Don't do that. You'll spoil it. No, no, don't do that. Sweep, I've got the... Uh, have I forgotten the tube? No, I've not forgotten the tube. Don't worry, it's part of the guessing game. The tube, yes, it's an ordinary hollow tube. Here I look. And th this is what we're going to do. I'm going to pile the blocks or the bricks, one on top of each other. In fact, I'll demonstrate on sooty. Is that all right? And you'll definitely want to buy this. Then you're going to turn around and... No, not now. In a minute. You're going to turn around. I'm going to cover them up with the tube. Then you turn back again, have a look at the tube. And you're going to try and guess whereabouts the uh, black one is. So, do you think you manage that? It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yes, well, we'll see, shall we? Turn around, close your eyes, and don't look sooty. Sweep, you tell me if it looks, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put this one here, this one here. <laughs> he was looking. Oh, wait, sooty, were you looking? Mm -hmm. He says he wasn't. He says he wasn't. No, don't look, you spoil it. Turn around, don't look, okay? I'm gonna put this one here, this one here, and this one. <laughs> what? Oh, wait, were you looking? He says he wasn't, sweet. <laughs> Now, don't look again. You will spoil it, Sooty. It won't happen again. Are you sure? <laughs> Cubs on her. Cubs on her. It's all right. It won't look again. I know about these things. Well, not if I've got a hand in it anyway. Turn around, close your eyes, don't look. Okay, so I'm going to put this one here, this one here, and this one here. All right? Don't look. Don't even listen, Sooty. Now, your job, Sweep, is to remember where the black one is. And you're going to cover them up with the tube, the ordinary hollow tube. Here we go, Sweep. Watch very carefully. You would definitely want to buy this. OK, cover them up. Sooty, wait for it. Right, you can have a look. Now, where do you think the black one is, eh? It's in the middle. <laughs> you see, it's wrong the first time. It isn't in the middle, Sooty. It's actually... It, it is in the middle. That's extraordinary. I don't know how that happened. 
Now, I'm sorry, look, uh, as a matter of fact, I don't even want to play with Sooty uh, because he's too clever for me. I need to play with somebody, somebody that's smaller, somebody with a smaller brain, somebody with a smaller intellect, in fact, somebody altogether small. Ah! Little Cousin Scampy. Do you want to play the guessing game? Shall we let him have a go? All right, you can have a go. Well, turn around, close your eyes, and don't look, OK? I'm going to pile the blocks or the bricks one on top of each other, OK? So I'm going to put uh, that one there, this one. Don't look scampy. This one here, and this one on top. Don't look scampy. Now, boys and girls, mums and dads at home, and you as well, sweet. Remember where the black one is? OK, cover them up with the tube. Here goes the tube, the ordinary hollow tube. The tube is going on. Don't look scampy, OK? Don't look. Going to cover them up. There we go. All right, you can have a look now. Whereabouts do you think the black one is? You haven't got a clue. He says it. What are you doing that for? Tell him where it is, sweet. Come on, tell him. He says he hasn't... It's not in the middle, sweet, because it... It is in the middle. I'm, not so I'm sorry, I'm obviously just not... not I'm not concentrating. We'll, we'll do it again. Do it again. I'm sorry about this. It's my fault, obviously. Look, turn around, Scampi. Turn around. Don't look, OK? I'm going to put this one here, this one here, and this one here. I'll get him this time. I'll definitely get him this time. You're going to want to buy this. Honestly. Right, here we are. Don't look. Don't even listen. Going to cover them up with the tube. Here goes the ordinary hollow tube. Make sure it's hollow sweep. Here it goes. OK, remember where the black one is. Shh. OK? Right, here we go. Right, Scampi, you can turn around now. Whereabouts do you think the black one is this time? What do you keep doing that for? Where is it, Sweep? On where it's... On the bottom. On the bottom? <laughs> it isn't on the bottom. You couldn't be more wrong. It is on the bottom. I don't understand how... Look, I'll tell you what, we'll do it once more, because you've won twice, and now I'm going to win this time. I'm definitely going to beat him this time, because, watch this, this is clever. I'm going to put this one here, this one here, and this one here. OK? Don't look, don't even listen, these are the jokes. OK, here we go. Cover them up with a tube, the ordinary hollow tube, and it's going on, watch very carefully. I can hardly forget where it is this time, can I? <laughs> I'm going to win this, this one. OK, Scampi, have a look. Where am I? Do you think... Why do you keep doing that? I don't understand. Where do you... It's at the top. It isn't at the top. It isn't. It isn't. It isn't. It isn't. Oh, no, it isn't. It's just like a pantomime, isn't it? How can it be in the top? You couldn't be more wrong. It is at the top. I don't believe it. All right, big head. Go on, go, go down there. Let's get rid of these. I don't suppose you really want to buy these now, do you, sweep, eh? No, I didn't think you would. Oh, let's put them down there. What? Oh, I see. No sale, no biscuit. Well, I suppose you... Hang on, what's it? What's that smell? What is it? What is it? You can smell baking. So can I, sweet. Well, hang on a minute. Baking. Whoa! There. Mmm. Mmm, that smells good. A perfect fruitcake. Goodness me, but the vultures are late today. Ah, there you are. I've been expecting you. Oh, Sue, the smell of a freshly baked cake. It smells delicious. Oh, would you like a piece? God, you bet we would. <laughs> yes. All right, that'll be one pound per slice, if you don't mind. What? What, are you going to charge us? But of course. You're not the only one who wants to make a sale. I want to win the biscuit as well, you know. Oh, oh hang on, listen to that. A customer. Excuse me, Sue. I've got customers to serve, biscuits to eat. <laughs> Mmm, delicious. Isn't that thoughtful, leaving a biscuit for customers? I must remember that. Hello and welcome to Sooty & Co, the friendly shop. Well, oh, Mo, it's you. Aye, it's only me, Mo, from Market. <sighs> By it, Matthew, but that were a clever move, leaving a little tidbit for customers. It was delicious. Je hang on a minute. You haven't eaten that biscuit, have you? That takes the biscuit, does that? Do you realise you have removed my will to sell? Oh, well, that is a shame, Lovey, because I have got the will at your back. <gasps> Is that real money? It certainly is. What? And I've got the urge to spend, spend and spend. So what's the most expensive thing you have got in this shop? This is? How much? £25. I'll take it. Yes! I've sold something to Mo at last! Yes! Right, well, let's get this sorted then. That's yeah. five. Yes. That's ten. Yes. And that's fifteen. And that's twenty. And here. What's that smell? Never mind the smell. You were nearly there. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Nay, nay, not so fast, my little money-grabbing friend. Look after your belly, and cash will take care of itself. Who said that? I did. Please pay attention. Oh. Now then, what's cooking in there? Well, Sue, she's made a cake, but she won't give you any. She's charging. Well, if she's selling, I'm buying. How much is she charging? A pound. A pound a slice? Yes. No, no. A pound per half slice. That's two pounds per slice. Oh. 
By gum, you've chalked me into it, you silver-tongued fool. So, get us a slice, will you? OK. Money, come on. All right, then. There's two pounds. Yes, 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 yes! Sue, 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 is that cake still for sale? Well, yes, of course. Good. I'll take a slice. Come on, here uh, we are. Can I see the colour of your money, Matthew? Yes, of course you can. Here we are. One pound. Mm. Uh, there you go. By the way, Matthew, mm. I think that means that I get the biscuits. Yes, well, Sue, I'm feeling so good. I'll buy you an entire packet of biscuits. Mm. Excuse me. <laughs> here we are, Mo. One slice of cake. Gee, hey, that looks great. Just yes. Here, how much would you charge for a bacon sarnie? Bacon sandwich? Aye. Uh, three pounds. Three pounds? Yes. I would go on with it. You whetted me appetite. Go yes. a bacon sandwich. Yes, 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 yes. So, how much would you charge me for making a bacon sandwich? Well, uh, does two pounds sound reasonable? <gasps> Sounds great. I've discovered a gold mine. Move over, McDonald's. I'm on my way. <laughs> That were grand, Matthew. Be I'm pugged. Yes, and I'm rich. That's thirty pounds you owe me, you know. Fifteen pounds for Sue and fifteen pounds profit for me. Yes. Not so fast. <laughs> Do you know? I think you. You've got a natural bent. What? How dare you? No, no, nay, lovey. I mean, you're in the wrong trade. You should be in catering. You're a natural. Well, do you really think so? Oh, oh. I, without a doubt. Now listen. What? I've got a mobile catering business in Eaton Park. With a talent like yours, you could clean up. It's for sale if you're interested. Really? A mm. mobile catering business, you say? Ah, if you could supply food like this, you'd make a fortune. Well, uh, how much is it? £250, you love it. £250? Where do you think I'm going to find money like that, oh, Mo? Oh, just a minute. Let's make this simple now, then. I owe you £30 for the food. Yes. I owe you £20 for that. Yes. That's £50, isn't it? Yes. Right, so if we cancel that out, yes. you can owe me the deal, the 200 Yes. Simple. Yes, you're right. It is. I didn't mean it. I meant him. What? Oh, no, never mind, lovey. Now then, here are the keys to the caravan. Yes. I'll take this, and you can send me the rest of the money round later, eh? Okay, yes. Oh, by the way, Matthew, what? that there business is going to go like a bum. Yes. Ta-ra! Ta-ra, Mo! Ta-ra! I've done it at last. I've sold something to Mo! Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> Hang on. If I've sold something to Mo, how come I owe her £200? Matthew, why don't you just face it? Mo has sold you a pile of junk. Sue, so it is not a pile of junk, and Mo said that we would clean up with this thing. Yes, well, she should have said you need to clean up. Mm. You can't serve food from this thing, Matthew. It's disgusting. Mm. How much did you pay her? 250 Never mind how much I paid her. Look, would you just go across there and cook the hamburgers, please, Sue? What? I don't see why I should be the one to do all the cooking. Mm. I'm going for a walk. Mm. Sweet to do something for a change. Charming, that is. Uh, uh, sweet. Sweet. My old friend. My old pal. Look, you've got to help me out. I mean, we've got to make this thing work. So, would you just pop over there and turn on the pressure cooker and cook all the hot dogs? Okay? And, and when you've done that, listen, 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 then go over there and heat up the hamburgers. Yep, heat up the hamburgers. Yes, all of them. Just heat them all up. OK. Um, and I'll tell you what you can do. I've done it again, haven't I, Susie? This is a disaster. I mean, nobody's going to want to buy food from this thing, are they? What? Isn't they will? Well, I wouldn't bank on it. No! Oh! Can I have a hamburger, please? A hamburger? But well, yes, of course we can! <laughs> can my friends have one too? Wow! Come on, please, grab those burger buns! We're in business! Whoa, whoa, steady, steady, steady! Whoa, there we go, a pound, back to the ship! Oh, all right, all right, okay, they're coming! We're going back to the back, go to the back! Okay, right, all right, so far, you're happy, and it's just a little bit of shit, but it's definitely around. All right, 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 who said this business wouldn't work? It's going like an absolute dream. Sweet, would you like an ice cream? <coughs> You're full? Well, I must say I'm amazed at your success, Matthew. Well, to be honest, Sue, so am I. But 
Here is the proof of the pudding. A whole bag of cash. <laughs> and I think that somebody deserves a special mention here. Sweet. <laughs> oh, yes. I, I mean, credit where credit's due, sweet. I mean, after all, you did cook the burgers, didn't <laughs> you? <laughs> you didn't? <laughs> but, well, of course you did. I mean, I told you to heat them up, and you did. <laughs> you didn't? <laughs> Why didn't you, sweep? <laughs> you got confused? How? Oh. You thought he said, eat them up? No, 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 no. I didn't say eat them up. I said heat them up. Be Sweep! <coughs> you haven't. <coughs> you have? You've eaten all the hamburgers. Hang on a minute. If you've eaten all the hamburgers, then all those customers have got empty hamburger buns. <coughs> Yes, Sue, and I fear there's worse to come. Why? Well, did anybody remember to turn the hot dog pressure cooker off? No. Oh, no. What does that mean, Matthew? Well, it means that Mo was right, Sue. This business is going to go like a bomb. Well, that's it. We're skint. We're bust. We've reached the end of the line. If we don't get some money from somewhere soon, we're going to have to shut up shop. Chewy! <laughs> Only me and Mo from Parakeet. Oh, hello, Mo. Me, look at yon long faces. You look as if your hopes and dreams have just exploded in a ball of flame. Yes, it's an interesting analogy, that, Mo. Look, if you come for the £200, oh, you, you'll just have to wait. Nay, nay, you can forget it. I've got Good news. Here, come here. What? You know that there stuffed dog you flogged is? Yes. I well, guess what was stuck in its mouth? Teeth? Nay, love him, not teeth. What? Tenors. Ten pound notes. <laughs> lots of them. So, you can have your 50 quid back oh. and you can forget what you owe me. Now, consider that a gift. Really? Oh, yes. And oh. Go on out into the yard, all oh. of you. Go on. Yes. Go, go, come on. Come, come on. on. Oh. I've got a surprise for them. Earlier on today, I were a naughty girl, and I'm terribly sorry, and so I want you to know that I've seen the light and adopted a brand new motto, and it's this. Remember who your friends are, Luffy, and welcome to this party just for you. Remember who your friends are. It's my way of saying I thank you. So make it snappy. Just be happy. You're looking. So get stuck in there. Food and presents. Like I said, it's time for fun. For everyone. So remember who your friends are. Love it, sucky honey. Earlier on, I think I was. in all this food Drum so sticks. please forgive me oh. party with me it's for free is it it's